Hi there. A lot of us on the job are using these reusable N95 masks. There's all kinds of different models out there, and they work great. But the problem is you can't hear, and what was that? Oh, one moment. That's better. As I was saying, the problem is that you usually can't hear people when you're talking with these masks, especially if there's a lot of noise going on, or it's chaotic, or there's a code. And that's when you really need to be heard. So I'm going to show you a cheap, easy, ineffective way to build a speaker for your reusable N95 mask. So this little speaker I bought uh, online, very inexpensive. It's the type that a lot of tour guides use. Uh, it's got a USB power source, so it doesn't weigh much. It's got an on-off uh, switch and a volume knob here and a standard microphone jack right there. Um, it does come with a belt clip, which does not work very well. It just pops off your belt all the time. But it's got two little clips on the side for, a, I guess, a lanyard or something. I just put two rubber bands through it, and I can easily hook it onto my belt, uh, where it just kind of hangs there. This did come with a kind of cheesy Britney Spears-style uh, headphone microphone, which I didn't like too much, so I just use an inexpensive lapel mic like this. You guys have probably used these in conference. They, uh, there's all kinds out there. They're ranging from very, very cheap to kind of expensive, but a cheap one is just fine. So here's a respirator mask. This one is made by 3M, and uh, it's reusable, and the cartridges are here and here. And right here is the exhaust port. Now normally we have to cover this with something like a surgical mask when we're at work because while it filters air coming in, it does not filter air going out. The exhaust port is an important landmark because this is where you want your microphone to be so that you get the best conduction of sound. The big problem is how do you hold this little lapel mic onto the uh, exhaust port? Um, so, one of the simplest ways is just using a plain old rubber band like this. And I go around one filter and all the way over around the other one like this. See, so there's a rubber band down here and there's one up here, just like this. Now I take my lapel mic, here it is, and I put the clip right here on the bottom rubber band, like this. See that? And then I kind of pull it up, like this, and I pull the top rubber band over it, just like that. And now that microphone is nice and tight there. So now that I've got the microphone on there nice and securely, I'm gonna put the whole thing on and then put a surgical mask over it, which will cover the microphone and the exhaust port. Now, if I want people to hear me talking, I just turn this guy on. There we go. Sometimes it takes a second or two for the microphone to pick up, so don't dial up the volume too quickly. You can make it louder or softer, depending on what you need. If you turn it up too high, you will get feedback like this, which can be painful and annoying, but it's also a great way to get people's attention. So you can do the same kind of thing with the Envo mask if you use one of those. Um, just like before, I'm putting a rubber band right across those two little ear tongs. You want to be careful not to damage the filter underneath because that's what does all the work. Then I take my lapel mic and I clip it to the bottom bit of rubber band and I just pull the top part kind of over it. So there it is, sitting right on top of the exhaust port of the Envo. Now I'm going to put it on. Okay. And just like before, my voice is muffled now, but when I turn on the volume box, after a second or two, there we go. My voice is now loud and clear, and I can tell everybody to do what I want.